upload to SmugMug. Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I'll show you how to upload your photos and videos into a SmugMug gallery. If you're not with SmugMug, SmugMug is a photographer's photo sharing platform with four plans available, which is the basic power portfolio and the pro account. With all four plans, you get unlimited photo storage for your JPEGs, GIFs and PNGs. You can also create a photography portfolio website with SmugMug and sell your photography online through client galleries with the portfolio and the pro account. To do any of this, you need to upload your photos into a SmugMug gallery. And depending which plan you are using will depend how many settings you have got on the gallery to use, which is what I'm going to show you in this video, how to upload your photos and the settings on the galleries for the different plans too. I do have more tutorials for SmugMug on my website. I have a discount off any new SmugMug account and you can try SmugMug free for 14 days. All the links are in the description below in the video. Let me show you how it works. This is what a SmugMug gallery looks like online and there are different ways of presenting your photos through the SmugMug gallery, including a slideshow. Now, if you double click on any of the photos in your gallery, you yourself can buy prints, wall art, keepsakes, desk art through your account, but you do need the portfolio or the pro account to be able to set your own prices. You can add a watermark through the portfolio and pro account to the gallery. And if you hit the share button, you can copy the gallery link and share your SmugMug gallery online. Click customize on your SmugMug website and you can add your SmugMug galleries onto the website. And if you're using the portfolio or pro account again, you can then sell your photography from events or photo shoots straight off your SmugMug website. Click organize and this will take you through to where all your SmugMug galleries are. Also where your folders and any web pages you have created are here too. If you click create, you can create a gallery, a folder or a web page and hit upload. You can upload photos into an existing gallery or into a new SmugMug gallery. Before you can upload any photos into a SmugMug gallery, you need to give your SmugMug gallery a title. And when you create the title, you create the URL to that gallery too. So if I put dogs in, my URL is my domain name plus dogs at the moment, depending what I'm going to do with this gallery. Now, if you are using this gallery to store your photos privately online, there are really only two more settings which you need to use. And that is the security and sharing. Let's change the visibility to private. So only you will see those photos. And in the basics, if you go back to the featured image after you've uploaded your photos and you can choose a photo from anywhere in your SmugMug storage or from that gallery to be the featured image. So within your photo storage, you will be able to find that gallery of images quite easily by the photo you put on as the featured image. That's it. And then you can click create and start uploading your photos or videos into that gallery if you're going to store them privately. The security and sharing. The visibility of the photos within the gallery. Once the gallery is set to public anyone, that's exactly what it is. Public anybody, anyone can see those photos. This is an ideal setting. If the photos in this gallery are going to be used on the website, it does need to be set to public so that anybody can see those photos. If you use unlisted anyone with the link, that is an unlisted link which you can share out via email. You can still share it through Facebook. Whoever, who, whoever has that link can see those photos and you can add a password for extra protection on the gallery. But also, if, you, if you're on unlisted anyone with the link and go back to the basics, you will see the URL will become available once you've created the gallery because it will be a completely random URL. Because when we started, it was my domain name forward slash dogs. 
this will become just a completely random URL for sending online so no one can guess what it is basically. So here is an example of an unlisted link which Smogmog creates. So I've got my domain name slash dogs which is the title of the gallery and then just a random selection which Smogmog come up with for the rest of the link for the gallery. Photo protection. You can change the display size of your photos if you're going to display them on the website or within your galleries how you want them displayed or the size right click message so if anyone tries to right click and take your photos off there will be a standard message if you put that on standard message from smugmug or you can go into your account settings and you can put your own custom right click message on Apply watermark. You need the portfolio or the pro account to be able to watermark the images within the gallery. I do have a short video how to apply the watermark. It is really easy because you can create a watermark within Smugmog to apply to your gallery or you can upload your own watermark. And I have some free PNG watermarks which you can download too if you don't have any or don't want to create your own within Smogmog. I'll put the link in the description below to that video. But you do need the portfolio or pro account to be able to apply that watermark because as you'll see on the power plan, which is just the website with Smogmog, when it comes to photo protection, you don't have the option to apply the watermark. And then, because I'm on the portfolio account at the moment, and then the download buttons, if you switch those on, people can download photos straight from the gallery and you can have a password set for people to download too. With the download buttons on, the download button here, you can download the whole gallery in one go or here on each image, you can download each individual photo. Social, show sharing options. By default, this button is set on and it is the button which you will press, press the button and copy the link to the gallery, which you can then paste the link to share the link to the gallery on Facebook, through emails, through wherever you like. And if you switch off for this button, you'll just basically remove the button from the gallery. Shopping. On the basic and the power plan, if you switch the visitor shopping cart on, on the gallery, your friends and family can, or anybody, can purchase prints, wall art and keepsakes from the gallery, but you cannot set your own price. You need the portfolio or the pro account to be able to set your own price on the prints, products and digital images and videos you can sell. And to do this, all you need to do is go up to the selling tools in the top bar then you need price list manage edit the price list you choose your products and you set the price you'd like to sell the products at it's as simple as that and apply the changes i do have a full video on how to set up your pricing for the portfolio account i'll put the link to that in the description below you'll see in the shopping section when you create the gallery that from the power account to the portfolio account and then to the pro account that you've got more and more features which can be added to your gallery and these can all be set up within the selling tools in the top bar in the portfolio and pro account and within the, your, your account settings. I will do a full video on the difference between the portfolio and the pro account. The appearance on your gallery. So we've got gallery style which is what you saw at the beginning We've got the different six different styles, how you can present your photos in your Smogmog gallery, including the slideshow. Then we've got the gallery cover image, whether you keep that on or off. That's a photo at the top of the gallery. And we've got show camera info. If you double click on a photo in your gallery on the left hand side, if you click the I for information that will give you the photo details and all the metadata related to that photo because when you upload your photos into the Smogmog gallery 
all the metadata comes along with it. Then show file names. If you click the file names on, the file names will appear on the images within the gallery, which is really handy when you're sending out a client gallery if they want to query a, a photo or an image. They've got a file name so that you can easily find it as well when they want to question, if they want to question something. That walks you through most of the settings within a SmugMug gallery. Now, what you will find as you get going along with SmugMug is that each time you upload your photos to the gallery, you'll tend to find that you use the same settings that I do for the client galleries, the exact same settings every time. So what you can do is create a preset and you'll put your name of your preset in here and then create your gallery. And I'll show you in the basics. So once you've created your preset, you can click preset. And if I click dog grooming galleries, that set all the settings, what I use for the dog grooming galleries is, has been applied to the gallery. And all I need to do is give the gallery a title and click create and upload my photos. So let's upload some photos to a SmugMug gallery. So all we'll do is click create and we're ready to upload. So we can browse the computer. If you've got your photos on your computer, plug in your hard drive, plug in your USBs. You can go to the app store, download the app. I've got my hard drive set up to auto upload. So this will save you time. You can upload from other services like Dropbox, get the free Lightroom SmugMug plugin, connect to Google Photos. And also now you can store your raw files and PSDs online with SmugMug Source, but this is an add-on to your SmugMug account. So the basic Power Portfolio or Pro account you need then sign up for SmugMug Source. And what's great about SmugMug Source is you can sign up and if you don't upload any raw files, you don't get charged. It's charged per month for what you store basically and it's tiered pricing. But yeah, that's great if you want to store your raw files and PSDs online with SmugMug and all you will do is use the exact galleries I've just shown you and upload exactly the same way. Either browse your computer or use the free apps. Send your raw files from Lightroom straight into a SmugMug gallery. So if I browse my computer for a JPEG, we'll open and upload that. Now, if I wanted to add more, I can just browse a computer that's one photo into the gallery. If I want to check the settings of the gallery I can go straight back to the settings. So I could put the feature image on now. Save. Go to the photo site homepage and that is all my galleries and there's that gallery I've just created. Now what you can also do is create a folder. So give your folder a title. Let's just give it dogs. It might not like that URL. Let's just see. Yep, because that already exists. So let's just call it dogs one. Create. That folder's there. Now, where's that gallery? The dog gallery. All we do is bring that gallery and drop it into the dogs folder. So now, the photo site homepage, we've got the dogs folder with no featured image. So let's click on the folder. The gallery's in the folder. Click the settings for the folder. Let's put that dog on again. I have to double click to get to the gallery. Use that photo. But you can see when you've got loads and loads of photos to choose from, you can choose whichever one you like. Click Save. 
photo site homepage and my dog's folder started. Okay, you can either leave all your galleries out or you can put them in the folders like I've just shown you how to do. The folders do have privacy settings too, security and sharing. So again, just like the Smog Mug Gallery, private, unlisted, public, unlisted and private. If you set your folder to private, but then put a gallery which is public in, you are not going to be able to see those photos because this folder setting will take priority. I think it does say on here. So if you're storing all your photos privately, set your folder private, put your photos in privately, you get the idea from what I've just shown you on the video. And what you can also do with your video uh, with your folders is put them into another folder. And what you can do is go I think it's five deep with your folders. I think a gallery can have around 5,000 images in, which is a hell of a lot. That's why you can just create lots and lots of smaller galleries because it's a lot of photos to go through if you're looking for one particular photo, 5,000. And then your folders, I think they can go five deep. So like my main photography, Within that folder, I've got all sorts, but yeah, I've got folders within folders and that's how you can organize all your photos. There's around 20,000, I think, photos in this photo storage at the moment, which is great. And you can upload as many as you like because it's unlimited photo storage. What you can also do once you've got a full gallery is rearrange the photos. So what you're gonna do is just drag and drop the photo and you can click on more than one and they will all come together. It's just so easy to get all your photos in order. That's it for this video. I will put the link to the discount for SmugMug in the description below and to the SmugMug tutorials page I have. I have more SmugMug videos coming soon on YouTube so if you'd like to subscribe to the channel I'll keep you updated and you can try Smug Mug free for 14 days.